When you want text to appear in columns, one way to do that is with editing text frame options for the frame. In this file from the downloadable practice file for this tutorial, or a file you have, you will create some text and then divide it into two columns. To start, you will add several lines of text using the type tool. So select the type tool in the tools panel. L in the document starting below the left edge of this line. Press and drag to the right. Making the text frame as wide as the line and about this tall. Green smart guide will show when the text frame is aligned with the line and matches its width. With the cursor in the new text frame, type every Tuesday, then press enter to return to make a new paragraph. Type six to 8 p.m. Press enter to return. Type art cafe. Press enter to return again. Finally type San Francisco. Now the text may be a bit hard to read. So you will change its color to make it more readable shortly. For now, select the selection tool in the tools panel and the text frame should be selected. The text frame you see may be taller than the text you like to see here. Sometimes you have to a lot of object on the page and to make it easier to select content. You make frames like this one as small as you can. To fit a text frame to the text within, you can double click the points on the frame. Double click the middle bottom point on the text frame. If the text frame were too small to fit the text, double click that the bottom middle point will show all the text. If it's taller than the text, like it was in this case, the frame will fit to the height of the text. Now you will divide this text frame into multiple columns. So it fits within this area around this icon. With the text frame still selected, choose object, text frame options. There are a lot of text frame options you can set. In this dialog box, that appear, including splitting text frames into columns, pushing text in from the edge called insert spacing, and a lot more. Change the number to columns to two. Then select preview so you can see the change happen out in this document. You may need to drag the catalog, uh, the dialog box out so you can see by this title bar on the top of it. To ensure that the text across the columns is vis visually balanced without having to change the height of the text frame. If you add or to remove text, select balance column 
Finally, to add spacing between the columns of text. You can adjust the gutter or the distance between the two columns. Change the gutter to around 0.75 inches by clicking up arrow several times here. To apply these changes to the text frame, click OK. Now, to switch to the Type tool, double-click directly on the text. To select all of the text in the frame, choose Edit, Select All. In the Properties panel to the right of the document, you change some of the text formatting. Now to change the font size, choose 8 point from the font size menu or another size so the text like San Francisco doesn't wrap anymore. To change the text color, click the fill color in the properties panel Make sure the swatches option is selected. So you can see the series of default colors you can use. Select paper, which can be used as white. Then press the escape key to hide the colors. Now to move the text in the design, Select the Selection tool in the Tools panel and drag the text so it's roughly centered on the icon if it's already. To see the final text without it being selected, choose Edit, Deselect All, Now you know how to fit, uh, fit text frame and divide text frames into columns using one method. And you make your way through these tutorials. You can make sure the text frames are as big as they need to be. And also easily create columns of text where you need them.